Let me ask you, the word change, does that word rattle you? It doesn't have to. You can learn to take charge of the changes in your life and create your own destiny. Take a look. It's been said that the only constant in life is change. Some changes are welcome and even refreshing, but others throw our lives into a tailspin. Pastor and author Dale Bronner says no matter what comes your way, your response determines whether you'll flourish or fail. If you show me your daily routine, I will show you where you will be 10 years down the road. In his new book, Change Your Trajectory, he shares how God's plan for our lives always includes change and how we can thrive through each transition. And please welcome back to the 700 Club, the pastor of Word of Faith Family Worship Cathedral in Atlanta, Georgia, Bishop Dale Bronner. Bishop, good to see you. Oh, great to be here. I, I love the topic, change your tra trajectory. Tell me, why do people fear change so much? Well, it, because it's the unknown. We fear the unknown. Every time that you, you have a change, it means that you're losing the, the status quo, life as you have known it. So it's just, it, it brings us out of our comfort zone and takes us into this area to where we have to trust God. And you say that it's not so much change that upsets people, but transition. What's the difference? Wow, that's a great, great question. Uh, change is actually the event itself. But transition is the emotional, psychological, relational, and financial processing of the change. Mm -hmm. A person can lose their job, for example. That's, so, that's an event that happens. It, it happened. You lost the job. That's change. But now the transition mm -hmm. is coming home. How do you share that with your spouse? What do you say to your children? emotionally. How does that impact you now financially? So it's all of the intellectual, emotional, psychological, uh, and financial processing of the change. That's what gets us is the transition. It's the same thing that happens to a woman when she's having a baby. Mm. She goes in transition. She's birthing something. It's the most difficult time of labor mm. where she's opening up from seven centimeters to 10 centimeters and 100% effacement. It is that transition where women mm. turn to where they are are least holy, <laughs> but they're birthing something. They're right. birthing something. So there's a purpose. There is a, a reason to all of the madness. Right. Well, none of us likes to be out of our comfort zone, and that's why we right. really don't like change that much. But why is being out of our comfort zone actually good for us? It's really good for us because it forces us to grow. Mm. It allows us to discover something in us that we will not have known. So the Holy Spirit always dwells riches for us right outside of the comfort zone. Victory is always on the other side of inconvenience and uncomfortable. So if we're able to, to do that, if we're able to press our way through the discomfort of being out of the comfort zone, we discover new talents, new abilities, new creativities, dreams, visions, uh, capped capacities and all kinds of incredible potentials that's in our life. And Bishop, you say if we do this successfully, if we don't totally resist the change and go through the transition well, this can actually impact our destiny. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Destiny is where we, where we ultimately headed. And nobody's trajectory stays the same. It's, it's a changing thing. We are no longer on just a, a changing landscape. It's like a changing seascape. Everything around us is changing. And the more change that happens in our world, we're dealing with sociological change, technological change, economic change, environmental change, political change. All of this change, the more that our world changes, the more that our anchors have to go deep in God who never changes. And that's what he said, he never changes. Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forevermore, Hebrews 13, 8. <laughs> Why do you say in your book that God's answer to every problem is a person? Wow, that's a great question. <laughs> I, I really believe that with all of my heart. Uh, you think about it, when there was a problem of slavery in Egypt, God did not get a group of lawyers to create an emancipation proclamation. He raised up a person, Moses. When the walls of Jerusalem were in, uh, in ruin, um, he raised up a person, Nehemiah. God's answer to every problem is a person. Uh, our peace doesn't come from a syringe. It doesn't come from a bottle. It, it, it's a person. He's called the Prince of 
peace. Mm. So whenever there was a problem, God always raised up a person with a God-given vision, a divine solution. So the answer is not money. It's a person who has the ideas for how to get the money. So God's answer to every problem ultimately is a person. Wow. Well, what role does vision play in shaping our destiny? Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, vision helps us to see what the finished product is. God is the kind of God, Isaiah 46, verse 10, who declares the end of a thing from the beginning thereof. It's our blueprint that shows us how to build, how to make these things according to the design that God showed us. Vision is one of the most incredible opportunities of every leader. And the second one is courage. You've got vision to, to, to see it and courage to do it. Well, you're not only a pastor of a great church in Atlanta, but you run a very successful business. You're from a very highly successful family, but I'm sure you have gone through many, many transitions and many changes in your life, and, uh, yes. and, and you've done it well. I mean, so now you're writing, telling us, what is the key, the, the main thing you would say to people going through that uncomfortable transition right now or even a change? That right. It's, it's not what we're coming from. It's what we're going to. Mm. Um, what was greater than coming from Egypt was being delivered delivered to the promised land. And so I've enjoyed it. It's been a great, fascinating journey. I'm excited about what my next uh, level is going to be. Every age of life has its own glory with it. And so I'm just blessed to be in the, in the age and stage where I am right now. That's right. He takes us from glory to glory, yes, right? Yes, he does. Absolutely. Well, this is a great topic and a great book, Change Your tra Trajectory. I have a hard time with that <laughs> word. And uh, it's available wherever books are sold. Bishop Bronner, thanks so much for being with us. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.